during the late Paleozoic era. An ice age occurred not one that primarily affected northern continents, but rather the southern supercontinent of Gondwana, as ice sheets spread over southern South America, Africa, India, Australia, and Antarctica. What caused this ice age? While ice ages are not entirely understood, a couple things are known. Free flow of ocean currents around the globe helps prevent ice ages when water can redistribute the heat of our planet easily from equatorial to polar regions then the global climate tends to be warm in the most recent ice age that didn't happen because antarctica was locked over the south pole and northern continents encircled the north pole also when africa closed the ancient Tethys Seaway, and then more recently, when Central America fused the two Americas, this limited water flow around the planet, and ice ages ensued afterwards. During the late Paleozoic, a similar situation existed in that a huge landmass, Gondwana, was located over the South Pole, preventing a free movement of water there. And as Pangaea formed, the Rheic Ocean, which had separated the northern and southern continents, closed, which also would have then limited water flow. While today we are concerned with rising carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere, increasing global temperature, at this point in Earth's history, carbon dioxide levels had dropped because of the huge amounts of carbon which had been stored in coal which was buried. The Carboniferous period literally refers to the carbon which was buried at this time. And so the formation of these enormous coal beds would have decreased uh, atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations uh, which then would have decreased global temperature. The late Paleozoic Ice Age probably contributed to the end Devonian extinctions uh, as the glaciations then probably marked the beginning of a series of glaciations, which then would have peaked in the late Carboniferous and early Permian. Sea levels could have changed uh, by factors of 20 and 100 meters. And this would have had a huge effect on biodiversity at different points in history, not only causing extinctions, but then also contributing to the success of animals and plants, which might have been better able to deal with cooler, drier climates and harsher conditions, such as amniotes and seed plants, which thrived and diversified during this time period.